Today I'm showing you how to make whipped brown butter. Before we get anything else started, I'm just going to set a medium sized bowl into a bowl of ice and set this aside for later. Now get a pan over medium heat and toss in some butter. We're just going to let that melt down and when we're browning butter, what we want to happen is for all the little milk solids in the butter to caramelize. So these little granular looking bits here are the milk solids and you can see that they're pretty pale in color right now, but we're going to keep cooking them until they're golden brown. You can see here that they're starting to get a little bit darker in color and eventually they're going to sink to the bottom of the pan. The butter will start to smell toasted and nutty, and you can see here that the milk solids have turned a really deep caramel brown. Now, this is very important. Brown butter can go from perfectly caramelized to burnt and bitter in a matter of seconds. So when your butter gets to this stage, get it straight off the heat and into that bowl over ice we set aside earlier. From here, we're just going to whisk. The butter will slowly start to get thicker and lighter in color. When it looks like this, pull it off the ice and give it another good whisk and this is what you're left with. One of my former chefs used to always say to me when we were doing recipe development, Kristen, the devil is in the details. I think this is one of those little details that if I was served something like this, when I sat down at a restaurant or for dinner somewhere, it would just really bring that experience up another level. It's so simple, but it's just that extra little bit of care that I think goes a long way. I'll throw a few suggestions in the description box below for some other ways that you can use this. If you like this video, consider subscribing and connecting with us on Instagram at chefstudio underscore. 